Good morning, folks. Today we've got a rundown of the solar eruption that is now confirmed to be on its way to Earth. We'll see all the data on that. We've also had several bigger earthquakes over the last day and a weird radar anomaly from a snowstorm. And actually, we're starting with yesterday morning's eruption, if you will recall. We showed the filament release not far from center disk and suggested it was an Earth-directed eruption based on the SOHO Lasco C2 camera data. In the hours that followed, the C3 camera updated and confidence in the Earth-directed component began to rise, clearly showing a halo event from the eruption. Then NASA and NOAA weighed in, and they agreed completely. NASA's Enlil spiral showing the eruption hitting Earth tomorrow. We'll see NOAA's as well showing the same thing. They are forecasting low-level geomagnetic storm conditions, which won't be scary, but should produce some good auroral activity at high latitude. As for the last 24 hours on our star, following that eruption, the C-class flares were a bit more powerful, but the eruptive activity was not near central longitudes. We had a couple other filament releases, and the one that is most noteworthy happened on the north near the incoming limb. We'll see that here. The filament lifted away when a C-flare occurred, and due to its position, the majority of the plasma is not aimed at Earth. While it is possible the far leading edge may be Earth-directed, it would be a minor perturbation in the solar wind. The bigger story is what happened earlier yesterday morning. Again, that impact expected later in the day tomorrow. Folks, we had three big quakes, but good news to go with them. 6.6 .6 in Brazil, super deep transition zone to the mantle, no major surface effects. Same for that deep quake that happened in the West Pacific, rang in at 6.1. And there was also a 6.2 more shallow, but off the coast of Africa, with it out to sea, there was no damage. It's always good when these kind of pressure releases do not cause chaos at the surface. Up next, we're looking at helix shapes, often indicative of electromagnetic current, but this one is not in space. We're going to the radar from the recent snowstorm, and the Weather Channel is trying to break this down as a wind shear event, but folks, it's too long, covers too great a distance, and honestly, it's indicative of the excitement of precipitation via a corkscrewing atmospheric current where it cuts through the frozen moisture band. I have not seen something this profoundly shaped on radar before, but we ought to keep a close eye for more of these as time progresses. The atmosphere is becoming more electrified due to the extra space energy incoming with the magnetic pole shift and things like this may become more common as that situation unfolds. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.